A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home hey, is good. his castle. What should I order for dinner? Acre of the dream Chinese. My victory. A city of opportunists. A city of dreams. Or Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. A city of pioneers. I like that they kept the land in the Hollywood sign. It's the temporally accurate. Actress. century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car, 14 Adam, 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. It is 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Okay. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. Lovely. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got I'm places here. to be. Happy hunting. Oh boy. We're on a this wild is a gun chase. Pump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Okay, do we know where the where the incident took place? Like, is, is there a body bag down this way? Look at this junk. Hmm. Okay. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. So something here needs to be examined. How does one go about doing that? Aha. Uh -huh. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? Jesus. I have cutscene vision? Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. 
The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. The war. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes. Given the right set of circumstances, trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. Mm -hmm. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Sheldon. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering you around. You went through a lot pain. together. Yes, doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Shelton, and your penance, for your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time, with what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. Uplifting. Also, I'm pretty sure we just found Daniel Craig's inspiration for the voice of Benoit Blanc. Hmm. Okay. Well, hey, I have cutscene vision. That's great. I've collected one out of 13 newspapers. Wonderful. I see glittery stuff. Is this a paintbrush? Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Okay. Chime or magnifying glass? Okay, well, I'm, I'm hearing the, the chime and I'm seeing the vibrations, but what is here to... Aha! Uh -huh. No good to me. I mean, listen, Cole, this could be, like, important evidence. It could be, like... DNA or something? You could have the, the killer spit or... It's the 1940s. You don't care about that. Okay. All right. Well, we've got a couple open dumpsters over here. Natural eating place for a thing. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, hi. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Yikes. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go, once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Suppose that's true. Okay, so we don't, uh... Well, he might have chucked it through the broken window there. There's also a trash can right over yonder. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Oh, hey. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. How? All right, don't hurt yourself. Okay. Okay, so... So if that's the reflection, that means the thing's on this roof. And we gotta find a way up there. Okay. Seems doable. Oh. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Okay, well, we, we got a conveniently placed... <laughs> Oh my god, it's a fucking game from 2006 and it's got a climbable yellow object. <laughs> what kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Not chumps, chimps. Hey, look, a gun. Cole, put on gloves. Cole. <sighs> okay. Smith and Wesson, serial S7189. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Cole, is hoist the, 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 the word you want to use? Is it not? I feel it's much more likely that the gun just we got We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town.
We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Hey, hey. So we can go set our next uh, destination. The gun store. Okay. Yeah, we'll set that as destination. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be well, fine, Ralph. You worry too much. I see this is, uh... This is after they put destinations on the map, but before they gave you turn-by-turn -turn directions, so you just gotta kind of eyeball it. I gotta kind of eyeball it. I mean, we're taking a left here, and it's gonna be fine. Whoop. No, assuming we don't whack some fuck, some guy. As long as we don't whack anybody, we'll be fine. And hey, we're basically here. Hi there, basically here. Oh, good. Thank you, cutscene. I'm a big fan of that cutscene. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Well, I mean, listen, cops don't uh, Model typically poke into gun stores pole. without good reason. You see it on there? All right. What are we looking for? Model 27 with pearl grips. Uh, that's, a wa that's a walnut grip. Uh, aha. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. That's right. Lick that boot, gun store owner. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. I am, in fact, a better man than you. So uh, let's just drive against the flow of traffic real quick. It'll be fine. And we'll dodge streetcars. Okay, this uh, this whole uh, driving well thing is not gonna actually be conceivable, is it? All right, that's fine. We'll just uh, take a hairpin right here. Can in fact have your now that wasn't so places, hard, was it? Nice. Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Mm -hmm. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. I just realized that the cars will also pull over if I bought my siren on, so we might we might be uh, making a real use of that as we go forward. That's fine. Nope, drive on the correct side of the road, Cole. All right. Hey, look, a door with a gold handle. By which I mean knob. All right, so we're looking for numero dos. Schroeder, carbon two. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? 
then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Come oh, around. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh, hi there. You ready, tough guy? Buddy. Okay, Cole, you really shouldn't have jumped to an arrest, and also, this guy really shouldn't be fighting cops. It's not gonna end well for him. Hey, can I grapple you? No? Well, that's not great. I can punch you some more. Quit prancing around. Well, apparently grappling just lets me hold you, which I suppose it is called grappling. There's a reason for that. <coughs> oh, now I've got you in a headlock. Oh, oh, now you're done. I win. Ralph, you all right? I am the punch I'm victor. fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. Okay. I'm going to take a look around. I'm also going to put my hat on, right? Good job. Over here. A shiny apple. Junk. And if only we had taken DNA off the cigarette, we could match it to the DNA on the apple. But no, it's the 1940s. Sad. Oh, hey. Address book. Might be helpful. Okay, so... This appears to be dates and then sums. Is this bookkeeping? Like, are you a, are you a... Gambler? List of names in a series of numbers. Hmm. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Who's Floyd Call Rose? Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting... Hmm. And again. Sons of bitches, get Not this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but excuse me, fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two, Abbott and Costello? You're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges, and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliott. You take the Camp Elliott bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. I have to be such a drill sergeant about it, drill sergeant. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. Oh, a boy. brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger KGPL. 14 Adam en route. Oh boy. Hey, hey siren time. Everybody get the fuck out of my way! Make it quick, you guys! The cops are here! We gotta move it! 
Gross. Mean. Hey, hey, gun shooting tutorial? Get gunshot. really hurts. <laughs> okay. Need you to come out from behind that car, friend. Promise I won't shotgun you. I lied! No. Oh. Phelps, we don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. Nonsense. Why there. is nobody covering me? Your cover. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a chance, a chance to. Chance, the good news is I appear to have infinite ammo, which is wonderful. Possibly just because this is a gunning tutorial of some sort. Oh, oh, you exploded. That's it? Oh. We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Don't say that, Ralph. Oh, okay. Screen faded to black. Lieutenant oh, cool. Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Thanks, Ralph. That was fast. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. Rude. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, but wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after nope. him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Hey. Wendell Bowers! Stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourselves. It's a running tutorial. Good. Why we need to go to them. Do we also have a boinging tutorial? We do! We have a boinging tutorial! Yay! And a dodging garbage trucks tutorial? Tremendous. Bowers, hold it right there. Stop now or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Dunn, watch your fire. I feel like I could have grabbed his leg Don't there, but okay. This Whoop. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Get down from there right now. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Oh, shiny yellow climbable object. Ow! That's my face, you got Phelps! This kid. You fucking ass Wait, for no. It. I'm Phelps. He's Wendell. God damn. Get back here. No You're a fugitive from justice, inside. according to my partner. Who, who I will note isn't the one I chasing you. Time. It's That's over, right. Bowers! You assholes already screwed me once. Boing! Well, boing to Cole. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. That's plainly not true. Goif! Oh! 
looks like we've got the place to ourselves. All right, well. That was a hell of a fucking clothesline. Good job. Oh, hey, you want me to dangle you off the side of the building? I can do that. Oh, no, no. No, I appear to have just won. Your parole officer's feeling lonely. <laughs> He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Christ. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Happens to run exactly as fast as a 40-year-old man until he ran out of places to run and then clothes Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso. Oh, snap. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! All right, well, officer school might not be for you, Jack. Oh, this isn't going to end well. Hmm. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Yeah, it ended real good. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Well... Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Oh, boy. Everybody right. stay back. Let us do our job. Broad daylight. A crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Mm, fun. All right. Why you got uh, why you got cheek blood, friend? Okay. It's possible that he was uh, that he was uh, eating a jelly donut. Had a real bad. Uh, Real bad experience with it. Yep, yep, definitely appears to be dead. Also quite dirty. Like, this is not a clean man at the moment. Hmm. Uh, it's a nice tie, though. I like this guy's tie. Yeah, I'm, I've already examined the body. I missed the all other right, side of right. the coat. Yes, it's a dead person. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, hey. Ooh. All right. So this is, uh, what, your mortgage? Oh, you were very close to paying off your mortgage. C. You, Galetta. Buddy. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. By mortgage, I mean layaway. Okay. It's a thing that's worth knowing. Something glinty over here. Oh, ho! Oh, we got shell casings. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Excellent. So now we can identify the type of weapon, sort of. Wonderful. The orange shirt guy, you see anything? The women don't find Sir, I'm Officer them. Phelps. What exactly did you see? Andy. I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. You want to take a look around now? 
have anything better to do? Nope. I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. What's Mr. Gage's know? first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Okay. So you're a shoe store, clerk, shoe store clerk. You were the witness. Okay. Well, uh, tell me what happened. Okay. So you're all city, shaky, your heady. Look off in the, in the distance nervously. E. Okay. Well, tell me what happened. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. Mm. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> mm. I think the witness is lying. You prove, choose accused. To accuse a witness, you will need to present evidence. Oh my god, it's a fucking Phoenix Wright game. Well, I do not presently have any evidence to uh, to deny your thing. Uh, let's play... Let me look at what I've got here. So... Pearl earrings made to a big... Hmm. So this was... Your layaway voucher. Hold on. And you don't know who shot Gage or why? No, officer. Oh. A man is dead, Miss Galetta, and it's a criminal offense to lie to a police officer. I ought to take you downtown. Get out! Oh, I fucked up. Get out right now! Send in one of the other policemen if you must, but I won't say another word to you. Hmm. I appear to have fucked up. I also appear to need to move my camera. It's almost like I barely looked for clues and went right to questioning. I, well, you know, I thought I did a good job looking. Well, I, th I found the casings. And I came in here and there was a vibration and then the game was like, nope, you're questioning this witness now. Doesn't tell me anything. Well, it appears to be a book. Mm. Mm, this is a game that requires me to be patient, thorough, and observant. I'm not going to be good at this game, am I? Officer, please tell me what's going on. Oh, hey. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Okay. We have the murder weapon, but no murderer. The girl saw it all, but she clammed up on me. We could trace the gun. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Okay, then. A gun store we will go. Pardon me, citizens, I'm making a U-turn. Also putting what on my What did sirens, I tell so you about going illegally. too hard on the witness? She's a store assistant, not a prisoner of war. Is that I played good to be cop. Funny? I'm just saying that sometimes you need to pour some sugar on these broads. A little bedside yeah. manner can go a long way. And since when are you the expert? We got the murder weapon, didn't we? You shouldn't dole it out if you can't take it, Phelps. 
She was a looker though, tell me I'm wrong. No wonder you're suddenly so obsessed with bedside manner. I pressed the good cop button. And the game was like, no, you're incorrect to press the good cop button. And Cole was like, no, you didn't press the good cop button, even though I totally did. Officers, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Hmm. And he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Hey, how about that? Oh, dear friend Edgar. Yikes! Don't mind me, I'm a cop. It's fine. It's true to life that I'm a terrible, aggressive, selfish driver and I try to get away with it by being a cop. It's all tracks. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Possibly. Can I interest you in Officer a set of bracelets? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Ty does not go with that shirt at all. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Sorry, we're running? Oh, you're not. You're, you are Edgar. You son of a dickbag. See, if we had gotten a physical description of Edgar Kalu from the gun store guy... Kalu! Get back here! Oh boy, it's sprinty time again. I'm sorry, do you want me to shoot this man? I don't want to shoot this man. Open daylight? I want to chase and tackle the man. Too late, Kalu! Aha, you are tackled. Sucks to be you. <laughs> punched. Did I mention that you're punched? You also got punched. Edgar Kalu! You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. Well, that's, um, again, quite the leap, but okay. I can see how you got there. The case that makes you and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. Oh, boy. The case you never, ever discuss. Oh, yay. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? So you're again? asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Two guys. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. Tokyo! But I'm curious no? okay. as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Well, I'm no Frank Pendleton. Yes, sir. But... I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. Hey, now. How are you feeling, lad? Like I Fine, shouldn't sir. punch a man. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Oh, boy. Okay. Might be a good idea to review this alleged mountain of evidence. Like... Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. I, we, a lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. I, You're going to have to pay for that. The man... I, 
I realize that it's the 1940s and Arizona only bla barely exists, so Miranda can't have sued it yet. But! But! So we can ask you about the shooting incident. You're the owner and murder suspect in this jewelry store, which is great. So. I like how shooting is a piece of evidence. That's fine. Accusing with incorrect evidence will hurt your credibility and make the witness more uncooperative. Okay. Didn't I ask for a lawyer? Shouldn't you be on the phone, officer? Shut up. Store owner testifies to Kalu servicing the Browning pistol. Okay. Well, tell me about the shooting. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. Yeah, I don't believe you. Also, you don't get a lawyer because cops. Careful use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs. Okay. So, oh, I have one intuition. Okay. Well, let's see what this button does. Select remove an answer to narrow down your range of responses. Select ask the community for statistics on how other detectives approached this line of questioning. 99% of players chose the correct answer after using an intuition point on this question. Hmm. Okay, so he's a jewelry store owner. I have nothing to connect him, so I can't accuse him based off of this, so it's got to be fuck you bad cop. I don't believe you. You blew a man out of his socks over an empty grudge, you son of a bitch. Do you think I have sympathy for you? That's the way. Keep needling me. Try the rough stuff, and my lawyer will be making an official complaint. Okay. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Oh. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. I... Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! I don't understand how I was supposed to do that better. Was I supposed to just know that he would have responded well to me flattering him? I can't him? help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. This is Tutorial Town. I get to retry. Okay. So he's looking at me. He sure is looking at me. Didn't I ask for a lawyer? Shouldn't you be on the phone, officer? He has a good point. I don't know. He seems rather satisfied with himself. I don't even know what I'm looking for right now. I am not accusing the game of being bad, to be clear. I am accusing me of not getting it yet. All right. Tell me about this shooting incident. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. Okay. So now he's looking off in the distance. You use that to gauge how much of a lying liar he is and how on fire his pants are. This dude looks like a lying liar who lies. The problem with that is... I have nothing to actually discredit what he said. Like, okay. I'm a businessman. I run a jewelry store. Those are factual statements. I don't know what you're talking about. That's a lie, but I don't know. Am I supposed to note that, like, we found your gun there? Maybe I'm supposed to note that we found your gun there. Actually, buddy... I think I've talked myself into the correct answer. We did find your gun there. You deny owning a Browning pistol. Serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Well. I mean. 
Wait, no, hold on. You said the gun was st stolen a couple of years ago? How could it have been stolen a couple of years ago if you just had it serviced? You had the gun cleaned and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you work. Is that so? Mm-hmm. It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. Well. Oh, hey. Possible religious motive. Also, I must once again find a new place for the box that puts my face in stuff. <sighs> Hold on. It's amazing what the nebishes will recall, eh? Uh, that feels like a slur of some kind, sir. Hold on. Go on. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? You're mm. not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. Hey, now. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Man, it's got a point. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Well... Um, well, okay, what, what what do I have to show that Gage didn't like, uh, he, I have no, I have no way of possible religious motive. That falls under evidence now. Okay. I don't understand how that counts as evidence. How does that count as evidence? All right. So should I accuse with this evidence or should I just be nice about it and be like, "Gee, you were all angry at the at the dude for Hmm. Hmm. I basically missed this evidence because I blew it during the investigating part. I see. I see. So because I was too too hasty and I walked into the store and I wound up getting a interviewing the eyewitness before it was too soon. Okay, so uh intuition saved my ass. Uh yeah, what what did what did the community say? Oh, the community went bad cop here, did they? Okay. You left wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? Sorry, what? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher. You and that stump Gage. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike oh, this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Oh, did he now? Edgar Kalu. I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake. The jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Okay. I got a confession eventually with help. Hooray, help. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't Over it not? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. Uh-huh. A shining, honest face the public can admire. Uh -huh. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Do I have to wear ugly ties like you? I'd rather wear nice ties. It's a nice tie. Hooray! I've gotten promotion. Sound investigative technique. I found some shit. Uh, service we weapon proficiency. I shot some fuckers. Peak physical conditioning. I ran down some fuckers. Keen interrogation instincts. I cheated. Brilliant! Hey, hey, if anyone shits on the monkeys, let me know. And people say they monkey around, but they're too busy singing to put anybody down. Should be fine. Ow! 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 Actually... Bad.